Now it's over to Mark in the Mastercraft Kitchen. It's day three of your chicken. What are you doing with it today, Mark? All right, so this is the final recipe from the meat which was left on the whole carcass. We've got the legs. So we've got these beautiful chicken legs. I'm going to show you how to break those down um, a little bit later. And we've got the um, wings as well. So this is a great recipe. We're going to barbecue them. So we're going to get lots of flavour into there. We're going to make a rub. We're going to smoke it a little bit later on in the show. You have to see that. It's brilliant. Um, marinate it and then we're going to make this great, this really smoky barbecue sauce, brush it and grill it. It's really simple. So first of all, we're going to make the rub. So we've got a little bit of salt and pepper, some um, garlic powder, some mustard powder, got some onion powder and some smoked paprika as well. So this is great. And then just give that a good mix together. Make sure it's all combined. And then we're just going to rub that over the chicken. So this is a dry marinade. So two, three hours will be uh, great for this chicken. Right, so grab your chicken. And if you turn your chicken leg over and you sort of have a play with it, you can see, you know, how the joints are sort of stuck together. So if you just run your knife in between there, you'll go straight through the joint and you won't be hacking through any bones. OK, so we're just going to do that once again. Oh, yeah, see, always make sure you uh, see where it is because sometimes you will have to go through the bone. Uh, and then we've got the wings as well. Pop all those in there. And then just sprinkle this rub over there. So be quite generous. So as it's cooking, the rub's going to sort of fall over as well. And just sort of massage it in a little bit and make sure all the chicken's covered and coated. And then pop that in the fridge for a couple of hours. And then we'll come back a little bit later and then we're going to smoke it with this incredible machine here. And I'm going to make that uh, barbecue sauce as well. Really good recipe. You don't want to miss this. Here we are in the kitchen, it's day three of our chicken. So what parts are we using now? Mike? So we've got the legs today yep. and the wings as well. So we've broken it down, so we've got the thigh and the drumstick and also the wings in there. So they've been nicely uh, marinated in the dry rub. Yep. And this is the fun part I now. Know, what is this? It looks so, potentially dangerous. So, no, 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 it's fine. Safe okay. as houses. This is a smoking gun, so this is one of my ties what I brought in from home. <laughs> so every kitchen should probably have one of these. Yep. No, uh, how much are they? Well, oh, about bucks? 100, 100 bucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Portable. So it's got a little motor in, so it's going to uh, push, pull the smoke through. So you just light these smoke chips. So we're using apple smoke now. And if you have a look now, it's uh, going through the tube, into the bowl, and we are smoking. Look at that. OK, so do you have to buy specific chips for this? Oh, I mean, you can use any chips you want. I mean, oh. just, just really nice and fine, because it's just a light one. I mean, alternately, if you haven't got one of these at home, you can just do it in a pan. Um, just get a pan really hot. You can put some uh, smoking chips in there, some um, rice, and then just cover it up and have a, a separate container at the top where the chicken sits in and just make it all sealed like that. And why did you choose apple-flavoured chips? Uh, just so we get a nice, a nice sort of sweet, okay. sweet sort of light, light smoke. But you can use any smoke you want, really. Okay, you know, so it's, it's, it's entirely up to you. And how long do you have to do this process for? Uh, I mean, you know, it depends how smoky you want it. I mean, I can turn that off now, and I'm just going to leave the cling film on there, and it's just going to carry on sort of uh, perfuming the flavours. Right. I've never seen one of these machines. I'm pleased you brought it in today. It's hey, good. Get one for Christmas. Nice. They're thanks. Awesome. There you go. Here's a good tip for everyone. Right, so we're going to make a quick barbecue sauce now. Right. So just going to chop some onions up mm -hmm. and a little bit of garlic. And we're just going to saute them off. Right. And a little bit of uh, cumin in there as well, which we've just toasted, just dry toasted in the pan and uh, crushed up. OK. And then that's going to be the base of the barbecue sauce. So this is like really, really fast. So just crush the garlic. Jeez, I like the mixture of smells happening at the moment. <laughs> we've got onion, we've got garlic, and we've got that smoky chicken. That's it. And it's just that, you know, it's the humble chicken, um, but we're just doing lots of different processes in here, and we're just getting all that flavour through each different process, you know? So it's going to be spicy, it's got herbs in there, smoky, beautiful. It's going to be absolutely great. And I guess, too, with the, once you've got the smoking gun in your house, then you can start smoking all sorts of meat, couldn't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, you can smoke everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're true. Um, OK, so now you're just seasoning that. Yeah, so just a little bit of um, salt and pepper in there. Yep. So we've got the ground cumin as well, so I'm just going to pop that in now. OK. And that was, did you say it was toasted before? Right? Yeah, so just a dry toaster in a dry pan, just bring out the flavour. A little bit of colour on there. Put it in a pestle and mortar and then just grind it. Nice. OK, cool. Great tip. Right, so I'm going to put the sugar in now. So just a little bit of soft brown sugar. And we just want to sort of lightly caramelise this. So I'm just going to leave it on the heat. And is that the reason? Toss it around. Using brown sugar so it caramelises. 
Well, I mean, you can caramelise normal white sugar, but right. we've already got that bit of that flavour in there as well. So, the, so you've got more flavour in the brown sugar. Oh. And we just want to lightly caramelise that, and that's going to help get all those flavours into the barbecue sauce. This is smelling incredible at the moment. It's so good. OK, cafe.co.nz if you want the recipe. Right, and then we've just got a little bit of um, apple cider vinegar. Yep. So you can see, just getting a little bit of... It's just dissolved now, getting a little bit of colour on there. Yep. OK, deglaze it, a little bit of vinegar, bring that to the boil. And that's going to give us balance in the sauce. OK, so for those that have just joined us, just remind us, so we've done a rub for the chicken bits that we've got. We're now yeah. smoking it, and now this is for the sauce, isn't it? Yeah, so this is for the sauce. And, I mean, obviously, this week we've done a whole chicken, and we broke it down to each different day. So, I mean, you know, on the second day, if you've got extra time, you know, do the rub in there, smoke it, keep it in the fridge, and then cook it on the third day. Perfect. You know, okay. you can get all the extra flavour onto there. All right, so just a bit of ketchup in there. Give all that a good mix around and secret ingredient, Worcestershire sauce. Nice. In there. And then we're just going to turn it down, let it all come together and just simmer it for about sort of five minutes and then just check the seasoning, rub it over the chicken and then we're going to put it under a hot grill and start cooking it. And then every sort of 30 seconds we're going to uh, brush it with more barbecue sauce. Nice. Right. This great. is the perfect recipe to make tonight or tomorrow for the rugby actually, tomorrow night. So uh, we'll come back to the Mastercraft <laughs> Kitchen very soon. Mel. Okay, Mark, from dogs to chicken, what's going on in the Mastercraft kitchen? <laughs> well, the chicken is ready, so if you have a look at it now, it's sort of caramelised around the outside, those spices, the sauce has gone in and sort of glazed it so it's nice and sticky. It's going to be full of flavour, this. So I'm just literally going to chuck it on the plate and bring it over. Oh, yum. Sounds good. So I'm going to try and make it look nice, but... That's all right. As long as <laughs> yeah. it tastes good, Mark. As long yep. as it tastes good. Yeah, I mean, this dish, it's all about the flavour. You know, we've got smoke in there, we've got spices in there, we've got this awesome barbecue sauce, which has just glazed the whole chicken. Right, here you go. I've got some napkins as well. Oh! Wow. Right, there you go, the chicken. So it's hey. extremely hot, so do be careful. You try that bit first, since it's A, it's hot, and it's going to make a huge mess, and I'll just get it all over, all over my face. I mean, look <laughs> at this. This is yeah. good. So this is a great recipe in uh, summer as well. You know, do this on the barbecue. Okay, Ooh, zoom, zoom in on fantastic. this. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. For, oh, you're right. That is very yeah. hot. No, okay. Def definitely zoom on this. Okay, what are you doing tomorrow, Mark? Well, I mean Monday, rather. Well, right, so I'm going to make uh, beef stroganoff. Oh, mm. yum. Mm. Love beef stroganoff. Really nice.